Have you ever walked the woods alone at night? If you have, then you're probably wondering why those branches were cracking behind you, why you started panicking, and why you felt like you were being watched. Well, it turns out that you might not have been alone after all. Fueled by the endless creepy stories on the internet and people's encounters with him, the Slender Man has become one of the most well-known and terrifying mythical creatures out there. Officially, he is defined as a tall, thin, mythical creature that is often seen wearing a black suit. He has a blank face with no features, no eyes, no nose, no mouth, no hair, and no ears. He has the ability to stretch his arms to over twice their length, but can also shorten them when required, and it's been reported that he has tentacles protruding from his back, which he can use to snare victims from all angles. His figure has been seen lurking behind children, and is often caught on camera by those unaware of his presence. And although there seems to be no exact location, as he's been spotted all over the world, he seems to most frequent woodland areas, blending into the background of trees with his stick-like features, stalking his victims before abducting them. It's unknown if he kills or just kidnaps them, then takes them to an undisclosed location or dimension, as most victims are never seen again. It's thought that anyone who is lucky enough to escape the Slenderman will never get over the sight of him, they will be traumatized and left dealing with the psychological damage for the rest of their lives. Despite his recent exposure in the last years, Slenderman is nothing new. The earliest known reference to him dates back to 9000 BC, when he was featured in cave paintings in the northeast of Brazil. They show a strange, elongated character leading a child by the hand. Later depictions of him were wood carvings by German woodcutter Hans Freckenberg. His carvings featured a multi-limbed character thought to be a representation of an evil fairy-type being who lived in the Black Forest that would kill or snare any children who strayed into the forest without their parents' permission. More recently, the Slender Man was brought to life again in June 2009, when two photographs were sent into the website to something awful. They were supposedly taken in the mid-80s and showed a group of children with a strange-looking figure lurking in the background. I will talk of the story later, but as well as those two photographs, something else terrible happened. It was called the Henderson Horse Farm Incident, and took place at a farm in Polk County, North Carolina. The farm was owned and run by 41-year-old Ted Henderson, his wife Judy, and his six-year-old daughter Tracy. On the morning of June the 15th, 1953, neighbors called local police complaining of hearing screams and the sounds of gunfire coming from the property. A sheriff and two deputies arrived at the farm at 8.34 and found that horses in the barn had been torn apart. They entered the home and could see fresh blood on some of the room's floors. They continued searching the house and found Ted Henderson in the bedroom barricaded behind furniture. Next to him was the body of his wife, killed by a single gunshot blast to the chest. One of the deputies said Ted didn't seem to realize they were in the room and ignored all questions. He was quickly charged with the murder, but due to his zombie state, he was admitted to the Jenkins Mental Hospital in Sandy Plains. Ted remained in a state of shock for over three years, when on the third anniversary of the murder, he said, skinny fella, suit, looking at me. Ted said this suited man had taken his wife and child and claimed that Judy begged him to shoot her. He felt that he had saved her by doing so, but was unable to stop the man from taking his daughter. Just a few hours after this interview, Ted committed suicide and was found dead in his room. The body of his daughter, Tracy Henderson, was never found but this photograph was taken about a week before the incident and shows what appears to be a suited man standing in front of the stables, which some claim is the Slender Man. Years later in the 1980s, the story of the Sterling City disappearances was terrifying locals. It started in Sterling City, California, which was long a hotspot for Slender Man activity during the mid 1980s. Following the 1986 Sterling City Library fire, a small number of photographs were recovered including one that had been taken only a week earlier on June the 1st, 1986. On this date, 14 children disappeared, followed less than two weeks later by the disappearance of the photographer, Mary Thomas. It's claimed the figure in this photograph that was released in 2009 is responsible for the disappearances. Just five months later, the body of one of the children, four-year-old Joseph Perman, was found in the Great Swamp Natural Preserve in Kingston Falls, New Jersey miles from where he was last seen. The deputy told reporters that the body was still in early stages of decay, 
indicating that the boy was alive for at least four months after his disappearance. It was also reported that the body was found in a state of bizarre contortion and no cause of death was ever officially established. So next time you're in the woods or anywhere near the Slender Man's known location, don't forget to bring lots of company because if you don't, it might already be waiting there for you.